I'm hoping that that's. I'm hoping that they add a harder mode to Pikmin 3 Deluxe. It would be much, much, much appreciated. I wonder what the price is going to be for it as well. We're just about a minute out, if if that. We're probably like 30 seconds or so out from uh, the event starting. And then Age of Calamity already looks so beautiful. I like it's. Oh my god, that's gonna be the best warrior style game that I'm gonna play to date. Like, I can I can feel it already. That it's gonna be one of the best warrior style games ever. Show me some more. I wouldn't be surprised if this runs a little late, though, like, to start. Uh, it, it wouldn't be the first time that it would have happened. There we go. Ah, oh, From one loading screen to the next. That's how they get you. You know what? I kind of like myself being here. Hi everyone, I'm JC from the Nintendo Treehouse, and this is Nintendo Treehouse Live. Um, Nintendo Treehouse Live is a way for There's us to give folks a forever. sneak peek of some of the games and projects we're working on. Um, in this case, we have uh, two projects to show you today. Um, later in the program, we're going to give you a look at Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. But first, we do want to give you a look at a game that we, you know, it's very, very near and dear to us in the treehouse, which is Pikmin 3 Deluxe. And who better to show us through a Pikmin game? Uh, yeah, I can hear a bit of an echo. So Corey and I are going to take you through a little bit of the main or adventure story mode, if you will. Um, and we'll sprinkle a couple of new things along the way. So, Corey, want to kick us off? Yeah, thank you. It is my pleasure to talk anything Pikmin related. Um, as you mentioned, JC, we are I showing Pikmin 3 Deluxe today, and right now we're in story mode, probably about five minutes into the story, past the introduction, tutorial, cutscenes, etc., and I am controlling one of the explorers named Alf here. Um, uh, generally, what the story is, is three uh, Alf and two explorer companions of his uh, crash land on this alien planet and find themselves in need of um, kind of um, getting back together again, finding the other explorers, but also finding food for their planet. And they meet these Pikmin creatures on the planet, which are adorable plant-like creatures we can see here that are very curious, they're very loyal. Excuse me, I'm also uh, munching down on my adventure. snack. So um, I just called a few red Pikmin out of the base here. Um, and you notice I'm skipping a few of the um, kind of uh, prompts. I'm going to be doing that a little bit throughout this uh, just in order to uh, keep the flow going as well as not to spoil the game for, for everyone as well. So, um, But as I move my left stick around, you're able to see that I control my explorer. And the left stick also controls this red cursor as well. So if I'm all the way out of range, it also moves the explorer. Um, if I push the A button where the cursor is located, you'll toss a Pikmin to that location. They should have reversed that. If you right stick should have controlled movement, Pikmin left stick should have controlled cursor. Like this or you know, left to right. Here, you'll see that the Pikmin automatically starts to carry it back to his base, which is called an onion. And we're going to see some sprouts pop out of the top there and then go into the ground, which is the way Pikmin propagate. So if you want to get more Pikmin on your squad, you just want to bring things back to their base and then pluck the new Pikmin out of the ground. Um, I've been using the control stick to control thus far uh, the cursor, but what I'm going to do now briefly is just pause the game and switch over to motion control uh, to control the cursor, just because that's a personal preference of mine that um, I started to like a lot more uh, on the Wii U release, but it is totally optional for player preference on how to control the pointer. So that red pointer where you see 23 okay. is now options, being controlled with just a little bit of motion now. So. Um, Story-wise, we are trying to reunite with our fellow explorer, Brittany, 
And if I pause the game using the minus button, we can see that there's sort of a radar uh, being uh, pulsating over here across the water. So it looks like I need to somehow cross the water to reach Brittany. But if I try to take the direct approach and just go through the water, we're finding out that the game uh, tells us that red Pikmin uh, are not able to go into the water. Uh, water is lethal to them. So fortunately, I can use my whistle with the B button and whistle all of my Pikmin back to land. So uh, we, because the Pikmin are so helpful throughout my adventures, you really do grow a bond to them, and you do not want to uh, lose even one. But yes. there's a, a uh, little creature over here that wants a lunch, too. So Yeah, it looks I'm hungry. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These yellow, uh, yellow things Walmart. that you'll come across are memos, which can often give you a brief hint on how to, uh, to go about your, uh, your adventure here. So it recommended me tossing a Pikmin on the back of that creature, which if I toss a couple more, we'll be able to carry that creature back to the base to get more Pikmin. And uh, I actually tossed some Pikmin on this, these bridge tiles as well, because what we're able to see is even though I can't cross the water yet, if I collect enough bridge tiles with my Pikmin, they'll be able to build this bridge. I so just know it was a bridge tile. While they are bringing like those a stack tiles of rocks to, me. to the bridge, I can see that there's a few more bridge pieces across this wall, but I need to break down that wall. So if I toss a couple Pikmin at the wall, they'll start breaking it down, but they'll go pretty slowly. So if I want to speed up the process, we throw more Pikmin at the, at the uh, job. And Meanwhile, we still have our Pikmin collecting these tiles. Looks like uh, my Pikmin also brought back that carcass from the, the small little creature, so we were able to get even more Pikmin. And we'll throw these new Pikmin at the wall to make it go even faster. You know, this whole thing about Pikmin, uh, I do want to talk a bit more about that because I think it's really interesting. Um, you know, these Pikmin, you think about it, right? You pluck them out of the ground. With these big eyes, they're still trying to figure out the world, and they're kind of relying on someone to tell them what to do. So, as you can tell, all these Pikmin have like a single focus when you tell them what to do. And you know, from their perspective, it's like, okay, well, I should follow this, this, this thing, this living thing that's telling me what to do, right? Uh, but at the same time, you know, it's kind of curious about you, the open eyes, full of wonder. You know, uh, it, it's kind of relying on you to kind of help, to help it, right? And so I feel, I feel kind of bad. So I can. You know, I at times, you may encounter some enemies, and Pikmin may, uh, <laughs> um, what's the word, uh, die. Uh, <laughs> and uh, that sound is absolutely heartrending, and I do not wish that on anyone. However, um, if you put Pikmin in a bad situation, it's kind of your fault. It's not theirs. Uh, so take care of your Pikmin. That's the, that's the story. <laughs> that's right. And I had to go back and collect them. As you mentioned, they were single-minded. So once they're done with a the task, they kind of just wait for their next order. So you're constantly needing to whistle to get their attention whenever they complete their tasks. And we're coming up against a, uh, our second creature of the game here, which is a larger version uh, of that bulborb we saw, that creature. And as I creep around here before waking them up, I did want to point out another one of the fun features of the game, which is the in-game camera. At any time, you can push the minus button to pause and uh, kind of just uh, see the world from your explorer's uh, eyes, which is that pint-sized view. So. We've got, uh, oh, this Pikmin's just looking at me <laughs> waiting for his next door. <laughs> hey, buddy. Um, but it's a fun way to take, it pic take pictures on your journey, um, as well as almost feel like you're kind of on the same So I can safari. understand why um, they are going to, while this enemy is you know, the whole gameplay aspect of this before, because there are probably people out charge. there. Which if we have lock not on and played this X game button, yet, we'll send them all. It's just all unfortunate that I'm not one of those people. Uh, at the creature so I'm just like, okay, once. can we get to the new content, um, please? And that <laughs> can be very useful if you've got a large squad you're wanting to them to, to do take an order all at one time. So um, you can use that on the uh, walls as well, for example. And uh, you mentioned that you just used that feature a couple times. I do want to point that out because I really, really like that feature. Which is that Bobo dead feature. already? Um, if you're familiar with the Pikmin games, you'll kind of remember that there was no logon feature. You had to kind of manually aim, kind of do it. But by tapping the ZR button a couple times, you can cycle through targetable items on the screen. And so it can make kind of tossing and moving your explorer. Song Quest is not on, Nick. How's it going? Kind of swapping, hot swapping between different uh, logon targets. Why would so I? I really <laughs> dig that. Yeah. And I, think I don't just have Song Request on at all times. Objects and enemies is the thing that really helps me when there are multiple. It's good. Um, it's doing good. I'm doing good. You're in a tight space. So 
We're, uh, Nintendo we're Treehouse is having Britain. an event. We're getting a little bit closer to her. We are seeing that Showing off uh, okay. Pikmin 3 Deluxe, so we're uh, watching that. And, just, uh, um, and we're, you know, we're really just waiting for the Hyrule Warriors a, stuff. To be rescued now. She's kind of still trapped in That's there. what I'm waiting for. I wish they had started off with that. And then I'm waiting to see like what kind of extra TV. stuff they've added to yeah, Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Yeah, explorers do speak a different so, language, so uh, fortunately... To make it seem... To make it different the, uh, than what the Wii U version was. Very cute language. Who are they? Are you talking about who are the people that are talking right, for so, Nintendo? Uh, I don't even remember the names. Fruit nearby, which we will see just I'm sorry. As around the corner. A strawberry. I, just, I called which them the Nintendo Treehouse people. In this world, to us, because we, as the explorer and the Pikmin, are so tiny. And uh, because my explorer cannot jump, the only way to reach this item is actually by tossing Pikmin near the strawberries. So. Um, you see that number three on the bottom. That indicates that the uh, minimum number of Pikmin required to move the object is three. But you can throw a few more if you want the object to move a little bit faster. And they will know instinctively the Pikmin to. You'll start your journey as a high so man you yourself. Them on their own, and they'll. You mean what, Genshin? And, um, as we're trying to continue on and rescue Brittany, we need to get past this wall. But we're finding that this wall, Red Pikmin, can't break down. And so another new feature um, that I wanted to showcase here is these optional hints that have been added. So if a newer player, um, you know, oh, link. Okay. to know what to do next, you can push up on the plus control pad and that's going to show um, some hints. And then even in addition, some arrows on the ground just to let you know where to go. Oh, they made so it easier. I don't want it to be easier. I just want, I want a harder yeah. mode maybe find what we need to progress the story. Mm -hmm. And at the top of the screen, you'll notice that kind of sun meter uh, kind of crawling across from left to right across the top of the screen. And that kind of indicates how much time, uh, you know, Corey has to get through his tasks uh, because, well... You're waiting for your favorite shooter to go live? Nice. Very nice to Pikmin. Um, you do, I know you, I, do I know this there, person? Uh, before sundown. And, uh, you know, that actually ties into the hints also. So if this is the first time for you um, playing the game, if you really just want to make the most out of your day and you want something, you know, some kind of hint, feel free to use them. And just uh, it'll help you kind of explore different ways and different methods that maybe you weren't aware of yet. So definitely use it. And after defeating this enemy, we discovered that there were some, a new type of Pikmin that were actually inside that creature. Uh, these are rock Pikmin. And... Um, we, uh, guts. Didn't oh, okay. go into detail earlier, but each Pikmin. I feel like I know that person, but at the same time, piece. probably so not. Here, that rock Pikmin have the ability to break sort of these hard crystals or glass, which red Pikmin would not. Um, later on, you'll see that blue Pikmin are the only Pikmin that can go in the water. So, all right. So now that we've got that enemy defeated, I would like to they are not basically spread rock Pikmin, they're Brickman. Rock Pikmin. So I'm gonna ask those rock Pikmin. But to they look like rocks. Bring it back to the onion and we will pluck some more rock Pikmin out before we continue our adventure. And again, one of those memos that pop up, letting you know a little game tip. I love the adorable kind of 2D artwork on They are baby screen. bricks? But they don't even, they're not even shaped right, like bricks. So we've got our rock Pikmin. We've got our red Pikmin. I feel confident we can head out of this cave now. Oops. Let me reorient myself there. There we go. They look like <laughs> rocks so or boulders. We could not break down earlier. Again, if I try to throw a red Pikmin, we'll see that nothing really happens. But if I push the L button, I swap between Pikmin types and can now throw. Uh, I'm going to call them Boulderman. And we're seeing them break down the wall. I'm going to call them Boulderman. Using my whistle to gather my... That sounds great. And Is that an Brittany. egg? Finally, we found you. Let's get you out of there. Let's break down this glass wall as well. Brittany! Hi, Brittany! That's a celebratory back that they just did. <laughs> <laughs> she is super happy to no longer be confined. <laughs> so now that they've uh, reunited here, um, I'm able to use both Brittany and Alf at the same time. 
And the first kind of uh, way you that can you know, the food game color them red and carve them just for I guess aesthetics that you can have no. multiple parts. <laughs> I don't members, think that's but possible. It but actually okay. comes in handy from a strategy perspective. So having Brittany, you can toss her over a gap, toss her some Pikmin, and then uh, at any moment while you're playing, you can push the Y button and skip uh, uh, switch to Brittany, and then we're gonna see that she's able to since she's on a higher elevation. Throw some Pikmin up to reach that lemon. And if I were on a lower elevation, I'm going to whistle really quickly once they get this lemon down, um, we would see that if I tried to throw red Pikmin at high, they would not be able to reach that high. So um, there, are, there are points throughout the game where you will need to split up your squad and maybe throw one over a gap or over water. But since, uh, since we do have two explorers now in the game, both Alf and Brittany, uh, JC, I thought it could be a good time to uh, for you to hop in since uh, with Pikmin 3 Deluxe, it is the first time that two people can play the story mode together. Uh, at any time, you can just pause, go to play co-op, and uh, JC, you want to hop in? Absolutely. Cool. There we go. So we'll see the screen now becomes split with me on the left, JC on the right. I'm going to see uh, if I can get my wife to play with Pikmin me. Pikmin right now, so I'm he lonely, can't really give me do much on his own. So <laughs> I'm going to throw some red Pikmin your way. And Thank you'll just you. have to whistle at them, and they'll be in your party. Appreciate that. And I'm going to keep charge of these rock Pikmin, and let's just keep making our way forward. There's some creatures up here that are carrying crystals, which uh, can be a little dangerous to the red Pikmin. So let me take these guys out before the red Pikmin squad comes in. All right. They are, Appreciate that. They are gone. So, so I'll, I'll take these guys I know, sorry. over here and start building. I think there's, there's, a, yeah, there's a bridge. truck I'll, outside. I'll doing this. Okay. There is a bridge we found, and JC is going to get one side. And I found some bridge tiles on the left that need to be carried back, but it was in a sort of crystal, so I used my rock Pikmin there. And we're kind of seeing some teamwork here. JC is using his squad to do a different task than me. Yeah, I'm going to see if I can get my wife to play this with me. Yeah, again, I feel like this would be a great multiplayer game. game for us. And it's fun working together, so I'm going to. Looks like I've got seven more bridge tiles to go. And we will have this bridge completed. Not Brussy Rage. Come on, Rock Pikmin. Don't worry, be happy. <laughs> and I did time that appropriately to make sure that I wanted the red one. Your sub ran out? Oh no. More All right. red Pikmin. So our bridge should be done now almost. Looks like they've got it. Final piece is in I'm place. I'm sorry to hear and that. There we All go. All right. So. Now that we've got the bridge, I'm just going to whistle to make sure I've got all of the uh, kind of idle Pikmin in my party. And actually... I'm taking some. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. You threw some Pikmin on some enemies and some uh, yeah, some food, some pellets that we can bring back. And you have those? Okay. Back, um, you're going to notice that we're actually back where we started. So we built a bridge, uh, sort of a shortcut now, back to the starting point. Uh, I'll go ahead and grab these red Pikmin since they're just standing there. And mm -hmm. we're finding a new wall that we couldn't actually break down earlier when we first started. So since I found rock Pikmin, I'm going to throw them at this wall. And we didn't talk too much about this earlier, um, but any piece of fruit that you saw, we got the strawberry earlier. Um, you'll want to bring that back to your base and... The more fruit you collect, the more days you're going to be able to explore this world. So uh, that's how fruit uh, plays a role in the game's story mode. Uh, Brittany here is noticing that we got a new uh, radar kind of detection from elsewhere on the map. So Chat, I'm going to run upstairs and grab my hat real quick. I forgot Brittany to grab it earlier. Letting us know that red Pikmin are fire <laughs> resistant. <laughs> This looks so defiant in the face of fire. Look at right. that. I just kind of enjoy it. Okay, I'm going to take so out this, some, um, this enemy. Some new here. creatures here. All right. Oh, and I, I did not listen to that warning, <laughs> but uh, my red, my rock Pikmin's lit up like a birthday candle, and he's freaking out. Um, similar to Pikmin, if they're drowning, uh, as long as you whistle at a Pikmin in peril, uh, as long as you it's in time, they'll come running back to you, and they will, they will not, they'll be okay. Uh, let's switch over to another brand new feature to Pikmin 3 Deluxe UK, called okay. Side Stories. Uh, these are some elements uh, where you'll be able to see what Captain Olimar and Louis got up to prior to 
the main story of Pikmin. Nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, before I forget, let's also talk about. I remember we mentioned the whole um, the sun kind of casting over, and they have a certain limited amount of time um, in the day. Uh, for those people, I, you know, there's actually a much more difficult mode uh, for you. Mm. So, so it's yeah, technically uh, 6:21 yeah, uh, p.m. for them right now. Story, uh, in Pikmin 3 Deluxe, there's normal, hard. They're five hours ahead of us, so ultra spicy. Yeah, it's it's difficulty it's setting, which, late uh, for them. Gives you only 60 <laughs> it's, Pikmin it's super late for them. At once, as well as uh, some additional challenging elements. So, for those that are familiar with Pikmin 3 or really okay, much bigger challenge, uh, that'll be right up your alley. But okay, that makes sense. So yeah, he has about now, 20, 30 minutes left. A sneak peek of side stories, which I mentioned, feature Captain Olimar prior to the happenings of the main story. And we're going to see Olimar here facing the camera. Um, sort of the background of this is that Captain Olimar, uh, the company he works for, is in debt yet again back on his home planet. And his boss is sending him here looking for treasure to help the company get out of debt. Olimar is a very loyal worker uh, and will go to great lengths to make his uh, boss and uh, employer happy. So good for uh, good for Olimar here. Uh, of course, o Captain Olimar was in Pikmin 1 and Pikmin, the original Pikmin and Pikmin 2, as well as Louie, who was his partner in Pikmin 2. Maybe a little bit less competent than Captain Olimar, who less you can competent. see here. But uh, still a very key <laughs> member of <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> Olimar's team. Well, and he's got his charm. Louis's got charm. Yeah, no, Louis's great. We, we love Louis. Um, but let's see here. All right, the uh, objective of this mission is actually going to be different from the story mode we were playing earlier because now the goal is just to collect as much treasure as we can in 12 minutes. And JC, of course, we've got you in here a split, sc split screen right now, but for the moment, we'll just switch it back to solo play uh, for simplicity. And I will, uh, you know, I still do get to control both explorers, so I can still get Olimar in my party. I can also call the yellow Pikmin, uh, which we're seeing for the first time in this demo over. And we'll see a little bit of their specialties. So um, we've got this electrified fence where if I throw a red Pikmin at it, we'll see them get a little bit electri electrified, electrocuted. But the yellow Pikmin are immune. They can be thrown at an electric you fence. You wish you could add the bot? Destroying. Why? So Why do you want to add the bot? We'll Louie there to keep an eye on our yellow Pikmin while we take our red Pikmin out into the rest of the map. And we saw this creature a second ago and learned that he's got kind of fire, fire breathing. But knowing that we've got our red Pikmin with us, we're not worried about fire. So because you're broke. Get shaken <laughs> off, which this enemy creature is doing, we can just let's do some charging actually, Adam. There we go. A and confidence done. Corey, nice. <laughs> and since the Pikmin were nearby when he was defeated, they're just automatically going to bring him back, which I will let them do. Um, and we found some wild Pikmin, and, uh, blue Pikmin in the wild here, so we'll just call them. But before we uh, hop in this water here, I'm gonna swap back to Louie to see what he's up to, and he's just plucking Pikmin and keeping an eye on those yellow Pikmin. They're so, still right. breaking that blue wall. Pikmin into the water. Um, again, May you give me a word of advice? Uh, go for it. Survive in the water. We found a creature in here that's a little bit hard to see, um, but he's under the water here. You can see that pie chart slowly. Whether or not I follow that advice is uh, a different story, but yeah. And this number five is actually uh, the amount of gold treasure our uh, gold uh, nuggets here. Um, as the You're not being paid to see this? What do you mean? Treasure back to the base, we're going to see in our upper left, the currency start to increase, which are Pocos, which is the currency of Olimar and Louis' home planet. So that is my objective, to bring back as much treasure as we can. Looks like the yellow fence is almost done, but not quite. So we will... Uh, oh, we lost some Pikmin somewhere. What happened? Oh, no! That sound. I... Corey was not as smart as oh. it could have been and I lost some Pikmin because there Well that's are, not really uh, advice this creature down so here much so electric, as it's uh, uh that I believe either got either electrocuted my blue Pikmin just information. Weekend, it's not, it's maybe just both I don't know if that's advice <laughs> uh, though. I don't know uh, if I consider I can that still advice. Throw blue Pikmin at him, but once he starts to generate electricity you want to get away. Um alright. I think we've got him. 
the blue Pikmin. All right, they're bringing him back. Great. Let's uh, head back. Thanks for the heads zone. up, though. Actually, though I generally just purchase my games from so like just gonna take control GameStop, of Amazon, or the like. Some more Pikmin on the stage. You so. know, I also noticed that you're walking by a couple of different fruit and stuff like that, and I also want to point out the you know Pluckies. the different ways you can kind of think about a map. Because, you know, from my perspective, if you have a large number of Pikmin, that really is CD resellers? how much you can grab. Because, of, you know, a large piece of fruit or a large item that requires a lot, if it's farther away from your Wasabi, base, what's up? you're not only going to need to, uh, you know, have the number to carry that item, but if you find something on the way it's back... FIFA 20 for two bucks? Too. That, like, I mean, you the moment, and you saw you know, that and you didn't you see, you didn't think, too. man, that's that suspicious. As well, so... I always like if I had ride, saw that FIFA like, 20 for two bucks, I would have been like, what I, what uh, did I see? where did I pass it? Is there anything else? I would have trusted it at all. I could probably take the next time I come back. Um, and so it also creates a really interesting kind of uh, play mechanic where I'm kind of thinking about. Charged him and he said, get off me, fools. Right? It's like, uh, I did it. I did it in this order last time. I'm going to try this. Uh, I'm going to try this map. Yeah, this is the treehouse. And I know I can get more out of it. I know I missed that. I missed this. So lots of replay value here. And I can already tell you replay. Value. Um, they have not said how long the DLC thing is. I would not have wanted to do such as losing those blue pick. It looks like it's a bunch of missions and things I would have done differently, but uh, that tell the story of of Olimar and Louie before the here. events of uh Just to make sure that I'm Pigman always, 3. I always want to have my Pikmin doing something uh, in this mode because again you want to create that high score uh, and get as much treasure as you can. So all right, we've got I like this. Goal. I'm a big fan of Pikmin. I like the fact that it's co-op like even through the story mode Pikmin now so that I place. can get my wife to play the game with me um, on um, story mode. Um Let's go back to base because there might. But be we all know why we're truly here. Base. We're truly we here because we want to see that Hyrule Warriors Aww. gameplay. <laughs> that's that's why we're here. Adventure. Give them purpose, Corey. <laughs> Ooh, pluck some more Pikmin. All right, while they're plucking, while Pikmin are being plucked, it's always a good idea. Yeah, to that's switch that's to your other explorer. That's what I was thinking as well, so I, um, Tonic. I'd rather just uh, support because, the devs uh, directly. While, while they're being plucked, there's not really much else that those guys can be doing. So, all right. The I'm only games that are worth a low price are the games that are so bad that they're worth a low price. On his back, because he's got this shell on the front. Let's see if we can just charge. Oh, no. They say that, but you but can actually, if you have the rock pigment, oh, no. you kill him in front. Oh, God. No, he just impaled just the red dude. <laughs> Oh, that red pigment just got impaled. Oh, not so all sad. Creatures are actually small though. Um, even though we bailed out of that battle, um, and that creature was quite. That pigment was like some oh, creatures oh, that are oh, much more oh. intimidating and large uh, <laughs> that you'll come across. This one included, which. Uh, oh, that's yeah, huge! Which, uh, it looks like a chestnut <laughs> spider. Uh, <laughs> um, I've collected 327 uh, pokos or gold so far. How's it going, uh, Nick? All right, have a good one, Nick. To, uh, to end for now. Enjoy your uh, friend stream. Too much of these side stories, um, but uh, yeah, let's. Uh, yeah. Oh no, get me wrong. I'm definitely now, hyped for it. Got one um, I'm probably not as hyped as I would have been had it not been my different from second time so playing far. this game. And it is a one-on-one -on -one competitive mode called Bingo Battle. Hmm. Yeah, so Bingo Battle, uh, you know, is so they get story, of, mission, side stuff, missions. It gets really, really heated. Um, you'll see in a second. Um, and the objective of Bingo Battle really is to fill out your bingo card. I'm going to be on the right side. Core will be on the left. And of course, if you're you know, familiar with bingo, uh, all you have to do is just make a line. Um, it could be vertical, horizontal, diagonal, any kind of line. This sounds like and it could be interesting. Each of those little spaces, uh, you have to collect either an item. I haven't heard anything about online space. play though. Sometimes there's multiple. Like, of an is, item. There there is there online co-op story mode? Is there online co-op side missions, uh, missions? You'll notice that there are. Is there the online co-op bingo battle? That's what I need to know. Is there online co-op? I need to know this. I, I am I'm not as good at this mode as Corey. So I'm, I'm gonna focus a little bit. I'm hoping they break that curse, Wasabi. I'm hoping they break that. I can, I can talk it's Nintendo. Of course, we don't have online on right now. Since um, 
We start with only five Pikmin. By I, I, I hope that they decide to break that curse with five, starting with this um, game. You're going to want to create a larger Pikmin squad as quickly as you can because the more I, like you have from what squad, I understand, Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity is supposed to have online co-op. You're able to divide tasks if you need to divide tasks. Mario Party so definitely like, like Super Mario Party. There should have been no reason why that wasn't online. There should have been no reason that was not online. Player can do. Um, if you're ever not sure when when I item, popped that open uh, and started playing it and realized it did not have an online you know, simple as pulling up party board say, oh, I play I was a, so sad orange I still play the game because my family that's what I need uh, uh, well the exception of my wife's uh, uh, side family so, uh, we're all I big Mario Party players so we we uh, always still play it whenever they all come over and then um, you see that we both got but uh, on the side yeah, I was sad because well. I was ready so to jump right have, online and just have a have a blast at party battles. Boat, but so we can I can see why they didn't add it because while Corey talking, I'm actually thinking about a couple. It would things, suck like, for example, um, if you got into a match with like three um, three other people who are playing with crap connection, and so you don't actually get to play the game. It lags really bad. So I can understand why they don't do it. It just sucks that it's a reason. Um, sure, you got that. Yeah, absolutely. And just oh, why are you I coming into my base? Oh, JC. So that is a good point to show that. Yeah, you know <laughs> it's a chocolate one. Other faces. And JC threw some Pikmin towards me, which started. Uh, they they kind of just start like thwacking at my head, which is really annoying. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> they're really picking them. It's and I have to smack them inside the head. Take them off. Um, my Pikmin can defeat JC's Pikmin, which is nice, but. Um, oh. If our Pikmin do encounter each other, uh, <laughs> I, want to, uh, I just saw one of my Pikmin get slapped by yours. And uh, yeah, I like that too. Yeah, bit. actually, it's on me now. Now the question is, is going to have four player songs will be um, bingo be free for friend. all? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Or is it just going to be two people? Okay. okay, let's. Uh, yeah. I see, see that JC has an. I can't imagine this that not being that online. Has, which is a uh, triple rocks, which he is able to use. And drop on me, so I actually have to be really careful here. I'm being very quiet about it. <laughs> and now he, he just, all right, he pointed it out, so that's fine. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta move, gotta think. Okay. Gotta move, gotta think. And again, yeah, you do want can't to. Can't stay still, can't not think. be aware of what your uh, opponent's up to in this, uh, this game. Okay, so that's fine. Screw that, I'm doing my own thing. JC can get pretty crafty at times. All right. All right. What if he came up out of nowhere and started tools. killing? Yeah, I'm gonna start. Okay. The pigment so at his base. I'm pulling some of these pigment I found that are my color, but they are in the water. So now I'm gonna try and. Yo, player one is. Uh, get some of these. He shot him. He shot a min max, but uh, now, nah, bro, you you cool need to get ten. You need to get double the amount of pigment. Yeah. Oh. That were on. I tried to. Uh, I tried to lure your red. To take in the something water. really no. quickly. See if they would follow. Stay me. away from. Stay away from my babies. It's like, I'm only going to put five on this one because it only needs five. Nah, so man, put ten on that one. so that I it goes quicker. Right It'll take forever, uh, man. You need to get that over there quick. Uh, spin on the item roulette, which can often change the type. Oh, so that's what that is. That's an so item roulette. I was I'm wondering what that was. As many of these cherries as possible. Back to my base. Uh, all right, I got a <laughs> MMO turns, so love it. My pre patch next week on the 13th. Free so, free next Tom week on the 13th, and World of Warcraft Shadowlands pre patch drops. And now the new leveling experience rock. goes live, then uh, all the new customization off, options so go live. The new off, UI off. overhaul for when you're choosing your character Just goes live. Um, so oh, yeah, next week will be the time to get back into water warcraft yeah, for anybody who's oh, ever been sort of interested right. in water warcraft and you know, player one just shocked player two's hand. pikmin and they all fell over uh, <laughs> another item that i picked up through uh, that i got from my cherry is sort of a free spin on the item roulette which is uh this golden no there's a there's a ton of fruit because they wanted to make sure that everybody had the chance to get rainbow. you know the fruit which looks like was an apple. Oh, no. The water. The water. The water, no. Okay. Well, you killed it, but you didn't uh, capture it? You gotta capture it. I see my. I see the line that I want, but I'm. Oh no! Oh. That was a direct hit. Oh my gosh! You got me at like the right time. I have one. Oh, I was staring at the screen. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> I'm down to one <laughs> single Pikmin. <laughs> if I don't now. Oh, man. Uh, JC will never he thought he was about to do no, something, I, dude, then the rock yeah, said I, I no. <laughs> he got me I, sleeping. I and he was like, all right, I'm about to kill this monster. I can't actually do this. I had oh, more than I one. Do this, though. What if I that bulb orb ate all of his pigment after they got hit by the rock? Oh, man. If I get distracted, maybe. Let it toss. You wonder if they're only going to fill one of those? I just, oh, it's still shaking so much. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh, come oh, on. Oh, say it another one. Okay, dude, if I could just pick up where was that? <laughs> I really shouldn't be checking this right now, but oh, that's right. This All game is actually really sad, green, though. Um, it is so unfortunate that these Pikmin have to die in such gruesome fashion. Okay. This is life. A long, a long, long battle. Go, 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 go. Or rather, they say it's live. It's quite possible that it's recorded. <laughs> but, uh, they blue at the same time? They, they said it's live. Oh, that was exactly what I needed. Okay. But you can never really tell so anymore the, because everything's done was at home and not in the studio. Uh, ten free Pikmin, basically, which sprout at my base. Come on. Come on, this will work. This will work. <laughs> but <laughs> I need way more. JC looks like he just needs the See? red See? See, player two gets it. Player two gets it. Marble, you got to put more two? on it. Otherwise, you're going to take five years <laughs> of a lifetime to get him up to your ship. Oh, please tell me this is happening. Nice. Oh, this is so good. Bingo! Oh, my palms are sweaty. I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. So what, what was, yeah, I think uh, from my perspective, what really turned the tides there is I had about, I was about to <laughs> defeat both bull borbs that I needed, but that mm -hmm. rock came down at just the inopportune Yeah, that rock moment. screws you uh, up hardcore, man. And I just kind of <laughs> forgot. <laughs> that rock that just said, that poof. Moment, so. Yeah, I well was like, all your people went <laughs> down. used it at exactly the right time. This feels so good, um, guys. Yeah, um, like this, this definitely needs right to be now, online. So you're going to play one <laughs> more game. This one is going to be over in probably two minutes because I have way more incentive now <laughs> to not take it easy. I'm not saying I was taking it easy last time, but. Uh, <laughs> that felt so good. I'm waiting this for them to get to the end of the Pikmin segment and be like, probably so yeah, this is going to have full online, you know, capability. Skirmish. Full online integration. we did in the last game. So there's really Nintendo has learned an opportunity the ways of the mistakes. online community. There's also uh, just a lot of uh, again the, the map is small, so they have they have been shown the way with our moves and have now gone yep. full and online. Corey, uh, again, because Corey pointed out that the map is really small, you're probably going to see us get into some pretty heated. Uh, yeah, the heated only thing real the quick. only thing in between us is that really this this orange uh, bulborb enemy that you Honestly, kind of even if it doesn't have online uh, play, I'm still looking forward to picking right it up now. and playing it again, so though. Other than that, uh, we can just sort of waltz into each other's bases. Like, the last time I played Pikmin 3 was when it originally came out on the Wii U. I beat it within two weeks, um, mainly because I didn't have much time to play it, but yeah, I played it then, and then I haven't played it since. Come on. Uh, come on. Oh, it's a big one. I didn't see it. Oh, run. I don't even have it for my Wii U. I have maybe one no, game. No, oh, this is bad. This is bad. All bad. So many. It's not a dying picking. Yeah, I have okay. one Wii U game play. left that isn't Virtual Console, and that's Twilight Princess: Legend of Zelda. Okay. <laughs> Everything else is Virtual okay. Console now. Get some numbers. This one's okay. Use the charge. Let's oh man, these get. full boards are just. I did have and Mario Kart 8 wow, and Smash Brothers, but as soon as they got released the for right now, the, the uh, Switch, I sold them in and got the, the Switch version. Speaking of sending things over. You. Oh my gosh! So oh, it's only nice no. to give gifts that. Uh, I gave JC the gift of the same bomb rocks that he sent me earlier. I wonder if that actually worked out in my favor, because at least. He's not seeing that I'm. It's got a ghost. Does that mean it automatically kills one enemy? Strawberry. No, not no, seeing no, 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 it totally no, 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 at all. No, no, no. I have no idea what you're doing. No, uh, Were you on, uh, doing something? Ah, I no, like how they all stop. Golden strawberry. You said? No, mine. I have numbers. But <laughs> I like how they all stop. <laughs> so Why all I need now going? is a red strawberry, which. It looks like it is right behind my base, and so <laughs> as long <laughs> as <laughs> our... Oh, wow. Yeah, so I Fight. can give up. I don't need to worry about the golden strawberry because I've got He's my... He's got the other one. Oh. The red 
delicious. I was like, I wonder what the ghost bingo. meant. Like, does it mean it'll automatically so. kill that was a, a unit? That was a, that was an a enemy? speed. That was like a mercy <laughs> win right there. You it gets really it competitive. Just, oh, just, just, just ghost them? Um, as you can see from Immediately the upon seeing them? absolutely love this mode. <laughs> but um, really, all the modes offer a little bit of a different type of gameplay. So, I like it. That, uh, that seemed like it'd be really fun. Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Be on the lookout for an eShop demo that will include save data transfer to the full game. Um, and if you complete the eShop demo, defeat the last boss in the demo, um, you'll be able to start the full game with ultra spicy mode if you'd like that extra challenge. So again, uh, ultra, ultra, okay, so they did add an extra difficulty mode. Deluxe. That's good. Ultra the game, spicy. Uh, itself comes out on October. Uh, no. Bingo awesome. was not Thanks, in Again, for really the Wii U one. It.